Hi, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on making a combination lock with uh, your microbit microcontroller. Uh, this is a, an example that you can use as a starting point uh, for the microbit lockbox com competition project thing, which you can read about in the description. Uh, click the link, microbit lockbox link. So uh, let's get into that. So I have my uh, simulator up here. I'm going to make a simple combination lock. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have one button uh, cycle through uh, some numbers like you would if you like had one of those like wheel combination locks where you choose a number. And then my other button will be sort of like the key. It'll be the way that you attempt to unlock the lock. Okay, so uh, to make this work, I'm going to need one variable. And that will be sort of like... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's just call it number, I guess. I don't know. Um, and we'll set number to zero at the beginning. Um, and then what I'm going to do is have my A button cycle through the number. I'll change it by one. Um, now, I don't want the number to be able to go up forever. I, I would much prefer it to end uh, uh, and like and like start over. I'll show you what I mean. So I don't love the scrolling that happens when the number gets too big. Uh, so you see, if we, if we go up. Right, when we get to 10, it starts to scroll. And I don't love that. Um, I would much rather it be... Um, I would much rather it stop and like cycle back around to zero when I get to a certain point. So to make that work, what I'm going to do is have an if statement. And we'll say if the variable called number ah, if the variable called number equals 10 then I'll have the computer reset the variable called number back to zero. And then uh, when it gets down to show, it'll be back at zero instead of going to 10. So that, that's a good way of making that work. So now if I go up to nine and I hit it again, it'll change it to 10, but then it'll hit the if statement, the microbit will hit the if statement, and then the microbit will run this line of code to reset it back to zero. Okay. That's that's kind of the basics of the interaction. Now, for the B button, uh, that'll be the button that I want the user to press when they're going to try to unlock the micro bit. Uh, and if they get the combination wrong, I want to give them the X. That's what I want. Um, if they get it right, I want to give them the, the check. So now we're in a situation where we need the microbit to choose between two options. So in order to make that work, I'm going to have this uh, the if statement. And I'll put the two options for the if statement uh, in one, one on the if side and one on the else side. And now I need a uh, the computer to do a comparison so it can choose between these two options. Um, so I'm gonna have the computer check to see if the variable called number is a certain value. Oh, I always mess up the dragging. There we go. Uh, and this this number is going to be like the correct number, the, the number that I want the, the, the user to select if they were to unlock the, the combination lock. So I'll set that to five. That's just arbitrary. It doesn't need to be five. It can be anything really, but okay. So now, oh, let's, let's do, let's do that. Okay. Um, and we'll show should number okay i think we're ready i think this is it this is a good combination lock it starts at zero and if i click up and then i try to unlock with the b button i would get an x because it, it didn't work but if i go to the correct number which is five and i try to unlock we're good we're in combination lock um this is a great simple program to use uh to, to create a little puzzle. You know, the, the, the user has to select the correct number in order to uh, unlock 
and if they select the wrong number, they'll fail and they'll have to try again. So that's a, a simple combination lock with the micro bit. If you have any questions about how this works, if you uh, need help with troubleshooting or you need any additional guidance, please feel free to get in the comments. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.